Oh, wow. Ow. <laughs> Hi, guys. Dr. Randy Cracks here. Today, we're going to be going over Faze Rudd's worst reviewed chiropractor. And for my qualifications, I'm going to put them up here. But let's go ahead and jump straight into it. All right, guys. He is here. I'm kind of nervous, but hopefully, he doesn't break my back. Whoa. Yeah, that's awesome. not going to happen. Yo, what's good, man? How are you? Good. Brian, nice to meet you. Come on in, man. Thank you for coming by. And I'm a gamer, so I'd be gaming like three, four hours a day, sitting still. Yeah, I think I need this. What, no, I know, right? Do you game at all? Yeah. Oh, you do? How can we not game? It's the best activity there is. No, for real, right? I agree. I game all the time. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I guess we could set up like around here if that's cool. How long have you been a chiropractor for? About six months. Six months? Yeah. This chiropractor is just coming out of chiropractic school, so he's not going to have a whole lot of experience. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, man, I'll let you set up. Do you want any water or anything? Oh, wait a sec. So he's got, he brought this duffel bag. There's like a green tarp in there. I see he's got the face paper for the table. What is he, like Dexter? Okay, cool. I'm gonna grab a water. He's only been a chiropractor for six months. I'm really risking my back. For I'd be more worried about what's in that duffel bag. I definitely feel very, very tense. Yeah. Thank you, man. It looks like forever since you've had any work done. Oh, man, yeah. Really, really Starting on a new patient, what I would do to help them relax is I'd actually have them take their arms and put it off the table. I do, yeah. Wow. A little bit of a skin poke, sort of oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ow. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's the way I would start with the person I just met. Is hey, you know, rather than adjusting you or warming up your tissues, let's start with the skin pull. Even though it has been known to actually help break up some fascia and help get more motion in the joints. Just give me like a warning before you like do it. <laughs> I know, right? Oh. Yeah, that's a red flag right there. Uh, as, a new, as a new chiropractor, you know, that's one of the things that you need to learn with the patients. Don't joke with them if they're very nervous or anything like that. Just let them know that you know what you're doing. Oh, wow, that well, that's a great really adjustment right there. You know, you can actually hear that solid cavitation. He's setting up great. It's great technique on the thoracic, lower thoracic spine. Um, the only thing is that he's a tall guy. And when I look at this, I look at it, the table he's using. Um, these portable tables sometimes are pretty limited. These little poles at the bottom of the table can usually raise in height. Since he's such a tall guy, if he's going to be doing this for the next six months to a year or years, going around using this table, I'd highly recommend raising that table height up so he doesn't hurt his back and, and better protects himself. Push it over. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, that was a solid wow. cervical adjustment. Oh yeah, that looked really well delivered. Okay, okay, okay. He's, he's set up on the patient gray right here. Um, he actually has his hand in great positioning for right in that SI joint region. Going to help out with the lumbar spine. Looks like it's going to be a solid lumbar um, slash pelvic adjustment here. Ooh. And it is. Damn. And then look at the top ones that are pulled to the left. Okay. That one actually felt good. I need this. Oh my gosh. Is this where you make me taller? <laughs> See, right there you can joke with the patient. <laughs> okay. Wow. I think I just grew an inch. Oh, wait, is this the neck? This is the neck. Okay, I get like really scared. This is like... where patients usually get the most nervous. One thing as a chiropractor, you need to come up with your own different set of techniques that allows the patient to relax in your hands. You know how like you can die if you do this wrong? Those are all be based on pre-existing conditions or genetics. He's absolutely right. A lot of times in the in the news, you'll hear somebody in a stroke due to chiropractic care. Usually it has to do with some sort of pre-existing you know, conditions, some genetics. Sometimes they had underlying trauma that an x-ray would really help to detect. Okay. Right there. Oh man. Right there. Oh gosh. That's a pretty solid term. I know, I, I don't know. I feel like just very scared when it comes to my neck. I'll try though. See, I feel it right there. When you do that, like I actually feel pain. Is that like, cause it's tensed up? Yeah, yeah usually the muscles will tense up around the subluxation, which is that misalignment in the spine. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Here, <laughs> <laughs> Does it feel different now? Yeah, you feel how it's moving a little bit there. Yeah, yeah. I am five foot seven. The taller you are, the more your back slouches when you're gaming. So you actually got lucky in that regard. Oh wow. So He's actually right with that. 
After adjusting my back, how bad was it scale 1 to 10? Your posture is to the point where you might be getting minor scoliosis. That's not yeah, I wouldn't go so far as say minor scoliosis. I'd focus more on the patient's posture. A good sign. If I had a patient that was that stiff and it was our first adjustment, I'd probably go with some more massaging techniques and relaxing the muscle. No, 100%. Like, I could feel it for sure. How often do you think I should do this? You said once a week? I like to get adjusted once a week. Once a week's really good for maintenance care. It really helps out the patient just to feel better on an everyday basis. What we do is spinal correction. That usually takes more frequency where you can actually see legitimate changes from a before and after x-ray. So it's different uh, strokes for different folks. So. All right. Oh, man. I've been to several chiropractors and they do way less than you do. Like usually I'll be in and out in like a minute. So that should tell me a lot about them. You pay for, right? Exactly. The chiropractor is doing a really good job going through all the different regions, addressing any concerns that Phase Roy has here. Exactly, yeah. Oh, man. Feeling no, I definitely feel a lot loose, a lot more loose than before. The neck, I do notice like when I'm driving, I'm always like doing this. Is that normal? Wrong. Yeah, but like, no, I feel a lot better now. Yeah, sometimes there's subluxations in your neck. You can get really tight after a night of sleeping. Maybe a lot of patients sleep on their stomachs, which is the worst position to sleep on. The point is, if you feel that tightness in your neck, it's very important to work on stretching that out. You know, sometimes you'll get a cavitation just by moving your neck. Don't force anything. I'll see horror stories of patients cracking their neck, like going like this and pulling their neck to the side. And that can actually cause ligament damage and weakness that you'll actually see on an x-ray over time. That actually leads to accelerated arthritis forming too. So yeah, very loose. We're done? Yeah, unless you got something else you focus on. No, I think I feel good. I don't want to be too sore afterwards. No, no, no. Yeah, I feel great. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, guys, so that's the end of the chiropractic portion. Face Rug actually really enjoyed this chiropractor. He was very thorough. He dressed professionally. Hopefully, there were some other things in that bag we didn't get to see. If I was interviewing this chiropractor, I'd probably hire him. He had great technique. He was very thorough with the patient. He really cared for the patient. Six months to a year, he probably would be a highly rated chiropractor. As a new chiropractor coming out of school, I'd probably focus a little bit more on those soft skills. That's it for our video, guys. I really hope you like this one. Make sure you watch our next video and hit that subscribe button below and uh, comment on this video if you'd like to see more videos just like this one. And keep it cracking, guys.